welcome back to Murray on Rugport Express. Uh, uh <laughs> I mean, it, Excess Express. I'm Fatal Foxtrot, I'm as usual. A, I'm OO sometimes. Yeah, and where we last left off, somebody stole soup, but there's a bomb threat and we're concerned about soup. So, a clue. There are traces of something on the carpeting. So we gotta follow this. Oh, uh, mercy! No, that's me. Oh. <laughs> oh, mercy, how repugnant. This looks like spilled stew under carpeting. For some reason I thought it was the waitress. I don't know why I'm my bed. Mm. This is rather fortunate. We could just follow the drops straight to the thief. It might even be the same fiend who wrote that sticky, yummy threat. What makes me say that? Stew is a notoriously good pre battle meal. What? I don't know. What the fuck she's talking about? Just keep following it. Do you see it? Mm-hmm. Okay. They want to, I just they want wanted to, to see, I just wanted to see if there's an exclamation point at every stop of it. Mm -hmm. Looks like it stops here. A clue. There are traces of something on the carpeting. Oh. Oh, great. This is a... Whoa, whoa, whoa! What do you want? <laughs> Sorry about that. Now, what were you saying? A pop from the kitchen. Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen and you blame me. The chubby guy. Not nice. What? Drop some stew on the floor outside. No. No, I wouldn't know anything about that. No, people spill stuff. And there's nothing in the drawer, so no need to look. You won't find a thing. Okay, well. There are several gourmet food magazines here. And one of them is an issue devoted to the food of the Excess Express. There's a large photo of Chef Shimi on the cover. His smile is just blinding. Hmm? There's something under the magazines. Got the gallery. The whole pot was in there? Yeah. It was licked clean. Oh, I'm sorry. I ate it all. It was me. Yeah. Huh. yeah oh, you, do you want me to do that voice? Yeah, go ahead. Alright. So, you were enamored. So, you were enamored of the stew and you wanted to steal it to devour more? And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping shallots? Answer. Yes, yes, that's right. I'm so sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Justice has been served. Very satisfying. May this <laughs> terrible crime never recur. Very satisfying, anyway. And you, my dear sir. Yes. <laughs> you, with the uncupped facial hair. The fuck did you say about my mustache? My keen sleuthing instincts identified you as... Little penguin shit. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> My sleuthing instincts identified you as the correct person to call her the ruffian! Oh my god. Now, about that note in your room. Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on this train, the conductor confided in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in room six so that we may discuss this in private. If my voice doesn't carry too far. <laughs> oh, and please return the pot to the chef if you could. Alright, how long will you be able to keep up that voice? Is oh, I could do that difficult? voice all day. No? Okay, cool. I, I got that one from Futurama. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, so I thought it sounded familiar, but it's great. <laughs> nonetheless. <laughs> it's easy to tap into because it's along the same lines as the whole nasally thing that mm. I did. <laughs> Ready to why? Fish? What that be the case? <laughs> <laughs> so you found the beef, or so you found the beef, or I mean the thief? Oh, I'm joyful. Well, I'm sir, you are the hero of my world. You have even brought my fire. It is empty, of course, but it is mine, and I love it. Thanks to you, from me. Here is just a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please take it. Take it, but. Oh, why must I butcher this luggage so, so shameful? Please take it, I mean. Oh, so he's supposed to be from a different country, I see. Oh, wait, wait, uh, you're going to room six, the other way. Oh, okay. Well, there's nothing wrong with mixing up words when you're learning a new language. Yeah, As long okay. as you're not purposely doing something to try and offend people. Right, that's room six, he's in there. Uh, 
Aha! I have been waiting! I was rather impressed with your work on this last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the one you apprehended is the sticky, yummy, malcontent. I have deduced this from the lack of incriminating clues in his room. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So, it's decided then. I shall take you on as my new <coughs> assistant. You should be very excited. To reiterate, my name is Pennington. I'm a detective from Poshley Heights. I am known in some circles as the penguin with the impossibly, uh, improbably large brain. Oh my god. I'm sure you have heard of me, so I will stay on the subject. <laughs> That's all I will say on the subject. Oh. That's your name. As for your name, wait, I demand you not to tell me. I shall deduce your identity. Mmm. That mustache. That nose. Oh, ho, ho, too easy. You, sir, are quite obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? How fucking dare you? You keep his name out of your mouth, you blue little fuck. No need to introduce yourself. <laughs> I know all about the famous Luigi. Now, about this threat. Some mysterious ne'er-do-well intends to yummify the train. Hmm. A sticky, tasty explosion. The family of bob -oms. They're uh, definitely suspect. That's, that's racist. That's profiling. That's racist. Now, Luigi, we will reduce this case to rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. All right, go talk to the bombs. I don't even know what room they're in. This is gonna be trial and error. Uh, oh. what? I'm scared. Oh, the sun's going down. Time is passing. Oh. This is this is dust. I was really looking forward to plopping that stew on my expense account. Oh well. I'll just order the next most expensive thing on the dinner menu. That's cool. Um, so, like, it's three days to Poshley Heights. Oh, so you have three yeah, days. Yeah, so, like, well, I think time is passing at a oh, equal, dear. at a rate, based on the story, but yeah. It's a, it happens over three days. Oh, we're fighting. Do you hear me talking? He needs something. Expensive and utterly gaudy. I mean, don't and you think so? Why must you? Because that just way, use your brain and remember it longer. Just think a little. And that's why it's hard you need on, to think actually. long what and I'm hard saying to you. about what I'm no, saying. No, 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 dear. Are you even listening to me? I think we should get Little Bub the Advanced Learner's Classic Series of Bob Armory. Two oh. words, cheap and boring. Think of more luxurious, dear. Oh, that was you, okay. That's okay. Two words, cheap and boring. Think more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car or a house. Bob is too small for such things, Gold Bob. Stop thinking of your own social status. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him, honestly. I don't win any of that stuff you're talking about. Hey, mister, are you a detective now that you quit being a champion? Oh, he knows you. Yeah, they were at the Glitz. Oh, yeah. Well, so, uh, you think you can detect what I really want for my birthday? Yeah, sure. Really? Cool. Okay, if you bring me what I really want, then I'll give you something in return. Okay, then here's a hint. It starts with an A, got it? It starts with an A. We're gonna talk to the family again? Like, oh. aren't we supposed to be profiling them, unfortunately? Oh. Yeah. I was just gonna do that. We must. Well, we must get him something that befits the station of our family. I have my reputation to think of, Sylvia. <laughs> Why does she have a normal ass name? <laughs> well, I still think he. We should get him the classic series of Bob Omari. Alright, well, so we, we need to go find something that starts with an A. Okay. So, is there anything in this drawer over here? Hmm, I guess not. Oh, star piece, alright. Okay, I tried. So, like evidence, here? like like a fucking it's blasting second. cap or something? Certain person's autograph. Oh! Oh, he wants a, z a zip toad's autograph. 
Oh, this guy yeah. we've already been to. Yeah, so he just complained well. about not being able to spend a bunch of money on food. So I think he's on the other side then, right? Yeah, probably. That's cool that time goes by and the colors change. And did you notice that that mushroom girl looks red now because mm -hmm. of the dust? The glow, yeah. yeah. It's really cool. Okay, we're room five. Maybe yeah. he's room four. Uh, nobody, looks like. There's nothing here. No. Nothing here. Whatever. Oh, wait, yeah, this yeah. is this place. Bye. Yeah. Sorry about you, sir. So he's not, like, in any trouble or anything? Yeah. Alright. I guess... Uh, whatever. Uh, oh, who are you? Well, hello there, you fine, fine specimen of a man, you. You're marvelous, dear. You solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes, very well done. She was at Glitzville, too. Mm -hmm. You're so rugby smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well. Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. Could you please hasten to search along for me, you boldly brilliant man, you? I actually lost a ring, I guess. There are giant mounds of cosmetics inside. She does look like she's a makeup gear. Yeah. The Probably lashes. has something for literally every occasion, you know? Yeah. Now oh, there he is. There are several postcards and closets featuring zip toed inside. Are you him or am I him? I think I was him. What does the little bug kid want as a present? Uh, well, I'm sure you'd be stoked to have an autograph of mine, right? Right, guy? Oh man, don't they all? I can't do it, unfortunately. I only sign for chicks. Oh. Well, what about Flurry? Can you sign? Can you make it out to Flurry? Try Grimbella. All right. Yeah, we have another. We have two other girls in this party that we can try. Wait, we forgot to ask the kid's name. Do you remember what it is? Uh... Okay. Uh, I guess try Vivian. Or, and then after that, maybe we can go ask the... Oh, you know what? I bet you you find the ring, give it to the lady yeah. next door, and she's like, Oh, you need an autograph from you know Zip? I can do that. smelling out treasure, though. Yeah, cool. Okay. Oh, we have four girls in the party now. I forgot about Miles again. I think that might be the most female partners, like, in a game that I played, like At an RPG time. like this, yeah. Or, uh, I should say women, not female. Because that's not entirely yes, accurate. There should be something Uh, Chef Jimmy. Oh, yeah, try there. Now maybe she means in another room? Cause like, if you go to the far left of the room and sniff, and it's not... Yeah. Right okay. here. No, that's it. It, it, it's right under your feet. Uh, uh, that's weird. Try your hammer and stuff too. Or oh, you know what? Get uh, get flurry out yeah. and blow. Oh damn! I was sure that would be it. Oh, damn. I was certain. Okay, maybe it's inside? The room five? Room five or room four? Yeah, we, we just came out of room four. Did we? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. My bad. No, you're good. We can 
check our drawers for anything. There's, There's a, a dried, dried shroom. shroom. Cool. Yeah. Times of the essence. There's no rest. Yeah, I don't think it passes time, though. So if you can just heal. In case you found, figured out some way to do battle in here. There's just nothing here. I don't know what Mouse is on about. Yeah, I don't know. Yo, we gotta find that ring, though. Mm -hmm. it's Wait, can we ask her uh, what's her name for? We didn't, she didn't give us her name, did she? Who? The stranger, the girl, with no, the pretty she cosmetics. Did not. She just Maybe asked us should we ask her for like a hint mm -hmm. for where she might have been last to drop? You're right. Yeah, because that kid gave us two hints. Well, he just gave us the answer yeah. the second time. She was in. She was in the next car, right? I don't know. Yeah, she was in the green car, I'm sure. Yeah, that's her right there. You'll help me find my gold ring. Thanks, episode. Ugh. Okay, well, okay, for the, there's less train over there. There's less train over there this way, mm -hmm. so we'll start there first. Okay. That way we'll just sweep the whole train from one end to the other looking for it. Mm. Oh yeah, he wouldn't have seen it. He can't leave this room. Yeah. Okay, we can't do this door. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything there. I mean, uh, like can't go through that all door. All here, you know? Who was in one? That was Zipto? The douchey actor. Yeah, guy. okay, so. Let's keep going this way. Okay. We checked every room in the red car, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Totally backs that chubby guy in record time. I was way impressed. Hey, come to think of it, I could <sighs> use your skills. What? Could you help me? Why does everybody want something, yeah. really? Wow, so I lost these shell earrings that my ex boyfriend gave me, and they're like all full of memories and stuff, and I really need them back. Could you maybe look for them or something, please? Okay, shell earrings, we're looking for those too. Plates. I don't think they'd be like under the uh, ground or anything. Yeah. It's usually like reserved for star pieces. I was thinking like maybe someone dropped something on a table. There are dozens of unusual spices crowded on the small rack. There's a shiny stove here. It's been polished to a brilliant luster. It is about this thief. I'm actually pleased that he craved that he craved my stream enough to steal the entire plot. <laughs> my heart is filled with no anger, but rather a warm broth of satisfaction. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's check inside the store. Maybe there's a. Uh... Maybe there's a lost and found. Buy lots of items to increase your. Go for 300 points to get the gold bar times 3 gift. How goes it, traveler? Welcome to the sales stall. We have lots of souvenirs. What could I do for you? So it seems like you have 73 shop points. Okay. Bye. Uh, I already bought a couple of Thunder Rages, so. Those are great. Yep. Mmm, did we check six? That's where the chubby guy is, or what? No, it's the pingo. Maybe he saw something. Like, maybe he just found the shell earrings and just hasn't said anything? Nothing that the young monster Bob wants most? Well, let us to do, shall we? Why, it's rudimentary. He wants <laughs> a Game Boy Advance, my dear Luigi, because that, my friend, is what the young children his age crave above all things. Don't advertise to me in the middle of my game. Fucks. Anyway, uh... 
so it's like when like during effort. Kingdom Hearts 3 I thought there was a fucking commercial in the middle of the game but it was just the intro for the Toy Story level it was like a made up game that wasn't real mm. yeah <laughs> that was a, like a fucking trailer for another game in the middle of the story I was so mad <laughs> then it turned out it was a fake game that isn't real so oh yeah maybe she found the earrings right okay check their drawer Alright, here's your second hint. Uh. <laughs> oh my boy. Just smash the kid open. Uh, maybe he found it? I can hear everything about families fighting about loud and clear from out there. One thing I heard was cute. The boy dreams of being a train engineer someday. What an interesting dream of a rich little kid like that. <laughs> Mario, darling. Don't you think perhaps the young child wants something from someone he admires? Whatever it is he craves, we must find it before the train goes yummy and sticky. What? Yeah, I know. Mm, but we. From the train Did you try talking to him about Vivian? I don't know. We yeah. tried Grimbella and. No, the zip guy. No, not yet. Well, we also didn't check the other side of the train now that we're looking for the shell earrings. Because they might just be there now on the ground, like, mm -hmm. invisible until we did, trigger that part of the quest. <sighs> or, like, check the drawers. Yeah, check everyone's drawers, too, I guess. This is our room, right? Yeah. yeah. But, like, if she went to clean her room or something, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Nothing here. Hmm. Sorry for causing all that commotion, but man, this soup was fucking good. I can't wait for dinner. <coughs> Alright. What about over here? No, nothing. Okay. Uh, um. No giant mounds of cosmetics inside. We have to find the shell earrings, give it to the other girl, get the gold mm -hmm. uh, ring, give it to the other girl. Oh, yeah, darling, don't you think perhaps the young. <sighs> We're. Uh, yeah, we know. Flurry. You trying to tell us we're out of time? Yes, that's her trying to say that we've got the wrong person for an autograph. Oh. Oh, the yeah, it would be the train engineer's autograph. You want my- because he wants to be a train engineer. Oh, you, you got a good point. Oh, yes, of course. Here you are, sir. Cool. Gosh, I've never given out an autograph before. That felt fantastic. She- that's a- you figured that out. Mm -hmm. He's like, no, not the fucking actor, the train engineer. Because he wants to be a train engineer. Mm. Makes sense. That's cute. Wonder if he, uh. Nah, you couldn't get it autographed for, from him anyway. Because mm. he only does it for chicks. What a loser. Mm. Not even a kid. Damn. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't matter anyway, because it was wrong. It was wrong the whole time. Yeah, they're in the room, I believe. Okay. So, did you bring me the thing I want most? Hey, yeah, bingo, mister. That's just what I wanted. You're a good detective. Here's something for you, just like I said. Oh, Shine Sprite. Thanks for the autograph. I'll take good care of it, I promise. Oh, was that just optional? Oh my god. What about the earrings? Talk to him again. Hey, uh, by the way, what's a detective anyway? <laughs> oh my god. I guess we'll talk to the penguin about the, uh... <coughs> yeah, tell him it's not the... Stuff. it's not the bombs. It's nighttime now. 
So, so it was an autograph, was it, Luigi? Mm, yes, just as I suspected. Oh, the conductor just came by looking for you, Luigi. And this, is, this smells of a new mystery. Okay. Wait, but we haven't solved the first mystery. Right. There's still a bomb on the train, you fucking weirdo. Have you seen anything? I'm glad you spoke to me. I just remembered something suspicious. I don't remember what voice I did for him. I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to the passengers. I gave to the last passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have exact blanket counts. It means someone came on board without a ticket. It's Beldum. Hmm. That stowaway just might be your suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. If you could look for the unticketed passenger and get that blanket, I thank you. Honestly, great, thanks. Well, I have to keep watch here, but I'll be waiting for the good news. Okay. Who's in here? Mm, Who is this guy? Why is this train doesn't have a heater? I'm going to try to get all my paperwork done today so I can enjoy myself tomorrow. So, uh, could you just stay out of my way for a while? <laughs> oh, damn. Rude. Rude ass. Fucking rude. What's in six? That's the detective, my yeah, lad. Yeah, that's right. You're right. Okay. The shop's still open at night, huh? Should be closed. Nothing here. Nothing. So we gotta find who's on the train without a uh, ticket. Mm -hmm. uh, do we just have to ask everyone? I guess. No. What are you trying to do? If I can get up here. No. What are you trying to do? I was gonna like hit that light and see if it ring was in it. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Sorry, it did not work out. It's okay. Alright, okay, that's our room, room five. See if someone put something in here to like. To try to frame us? Frame us, yeah. There's nothing here. Nah. Hmm. Okay. In the drawer. I'm trying to like scare someone out if they were hiding in the bed. Yeah. You'd be like, you. I found you. There. If they're in there, they ain't happy. <laughs> when you're here, you're not happy. <laughs> <laughs> I heard some noises in the room next, next door. door a little while ago. Weird ones, but when I looked in there, it was empty. I was like, okay, that was freaky. Then I came back, I heard noises again. It really spooks me. Would you mind checking that? Okay, room? yeah, let's do that. Let's go back in there. Okay. Try, uh, the wind. Uh, oh, yeah. The other way. It's like that. This way? No. Hmm. Check the drawer. Right um. Mouse? I think we need Oh, wait, wait, Vivian, hide yeah. in the floor. I think we need Vivian, yeah. That's a, that's it. it you, did you figure that out did, before I did press anything? I thought Can maybe I, she could, like, hide us in the shadow. Oh. Oh. Okay, I think we can come out now. <laughs> Shit, so you found me. Well, as you can see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize I'm a ghost. A yummy, sticky threat? No, I left no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like a pen and paper. 
What? You just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? All I need is your soul, your life. Oh, no, no, I'm just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. But I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days. And my fear that someone would find and read it has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room, so please find it and bring it here. If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. Okay. Alright. And you know what? And don't, don't you, you dare read my diary. I'll we'll have right. to read it in the next episode, lol. Yeah. Uh, don't. Don't, don't read it. No, don't yeah. read people's diaries. Okay, um, cool. So, like, uh, we... We'll see you guys in the next episode where we go find this ghost's weird diary, okay? Yeah. All right. Bye, Bye everyone.